Tyler Kolick just broke the Marquette single game assist record against DePaul and we're going to break down every assist that he had and what he did to do it. So the first possession of the game, they actually posted him up and when they threw it in, they're going to run this split action to get a flare screen for this guard and this is probably the least accurate pass he threw the entire game for assist number one. Now he was amazing in transition and part of it is this, before the ball is even thrown in, notice how Tyler is trying to scan the floor and see where everybody's at. So as soon as he catches the ball, he recognizes that he is a man out ahead of the defense running the floor and he throws a perfect pass that allows Mitchell to catch it without breaking stride and the defense can't quite get their hands on it. And if he would have thrown it even one dribble later, it wouldn't have been open. So now as he comes down in transition, he's going to get this early drag screen. So as he comes off, he's getting his eyes to this big right here who's in drop coverage. And one of the things he does that's so subtle is he gets off the ball early. Instead of trying to over dribble and probe, he just gets it to his big and he's able to get straight to the rim because he never had to break stride. Now one of the things that's fun about Marquette is they get out and run in transition. So as Tyler pushes the ball up the court, he's going to throw this cross court pass. But here's what I want you to notice. Not only is this ball on a rope, but it hits his teammate right in his shooting pocket so that he can go straight up into a shot. And those little details are what make him special. Now on this baseline out of bounds, you're kind of going to see the back half of it. But Tyler's taking it out and they're running this stagger screen towards the ball. And what he notices is this defender is paying attention to the action and has no idea that there's a wide open man in the corner. And that's how he gets number five. So now he's gonna get the ball back in transition. And here's what I want you to notice about this play. On this catch, it's three on three, so there's not really an advantage, but this defender is shaded to the top side of the court. So he knows that number 25 has to take him and that's why he goes this direction. But DePaul does a great job of cutting him off and making them play in the half court. So later in the possession, he's gonna get this side ball screen. And when he comes off, most people would shoot this shot because of the space, but he recognizes both defenders trying to step up to help. And he throws this ball in this tiny little window for assist number six. And then DePaul's going to turn the ball over on the inbound and Kolek's going to get it back in this situation that I would refer to as the time of decision. And these are all the things that go through his head in a split second. Do I shoot it? Or is this guy going to step up so I dump it down to my big? And if I do that, will the crack back come and steal it so I actually need to throw it to the wing? And ultimately, after going through all of that, he kicks it back to a wide open wing shooter for a three. This is elite level decision making. So before we go on to number eight, let me tell you about the sponsor for this video. Coaches, if you're looking for a new customizable board, then Hoops King is the place for you. Their website is easy to navigate and you can customize your board down to the most personal details. And having a two-sided feature will allow you to keep track of everything that you need to come game time. And you can select your line options. So whether you're in high school, college, or the NBA, there's a board just for you, which is one of the reasons the Los Angeles Lakers purchased their boards from Hoops King. And I can personally guarantee you that the logo that you customize on the website will look exactly the same way in person, if not better and they guarantee swift delivery so you'll have your new board within 10 days of ordering. The link to their website is in the description or just type in hoopsking.com. One of the most impressive things about this performance is we are nine minutes into this game and he already has seven assists when most point guards don't do that in an entire game. So out of this media timeout, they run this touch action to get into this step up screen and Kolik recognizes the drop coverage again and you can tell he's already ready to throw this early pocket pass to his big and that gets him assist number eight. So because DePaul was struggling to get stops, they switched to a zone halfway through the first half and you're going to see that they're in a 3-2 zone. Kolik recognizes this quickly and starts to direct traffic and then gets to a soft spot in the zone and calls for the ball. He's going to drive past this bad closeout and as he's doing that, notice how his big is going to tee up to the front of the rim, which is exactly where Tyler expected him to be and he dumps it off for an easy layup. So because the 3-2 zone was not working, they decide to switch it up and go to a 2-3 just to try and create more confusion and slow them down. Well, Marquette recognizes this and they run a lob play. So what they do is they flash this wing to the high post to get the five man to step up and then Kolik throws this absolute dime to Igadaro for assist number 10. And probably the easiest assist he had all day was here in transition. 
they get out, the ball gets back to him, and he recognizes that they lost Jones in transition. He hits him in the corner for a rhythm catch and shoot three. And part of the reason they were able to get so many transition buckets is because their defense was so good this game. So here they get out in a three-on-one situation, and he knows that Jones is hunting a three and Joplin is running to the rim, so he decides to take the easy two. And for all you guards out there, understand that Kolek dominated this game and only shot it twice. He easily could have forced a bad shot here in transition, but gives it right back to Jones, and he is absolutely loving it. So please be encouraged that you don't always have to score the basketball to make an impact for your team offensively. So here he gets out in transition again, probably could have tried to Euro for a Layup, but he's got Cam Jones running again, but look at where this pass is. It is right in his shooting pocket that allows him to go up into another rhythm three, and he's got 14 assists. And guards, I can't stress enough how important it is to get your eyes up the court when you get that outlet. Before he's even taken a bounce, he recognizes he has a rim runner. He throws a great pass for another layup. And at this point, they're just having fun. DePaul goes back to a 3-2, so they run another lob. You're going to see this big come over and set a screen on the bottom man, and then this guard's going to go and set this back screen, and and watch where he throws this pass. It's in the perfect spot for assist number 16. And this next one is my personal favorite. As he gets out in transition, he's gonna recognize he has two wings running to his left. As this guy picks him up one-on-one, -on -one, he's gonna dribble this direction just to get this defender's eyes on him so that he can throw this back door for number 17. But that was the previous record, so he needed one more. So on this baseline out of bounds, this defender tries to shoot the gap on this stagger, and Cam Jones does a great job of recognizing it and fading for a catch and shoot three. And you can see how much this meant to him when the ball goes through the hoop. Tyler, congratulations. Thanks for coming through. We'll see you next time in the film room.